La seconda relatrice del pomeriggio è la dottoressa Joanna Fitt di ANSES, l'Agenzia Nazionale per la Sicurezza Sanitaria in Francia, esperta entomologa e eh, di problematiche legate al controllo dei vettori. Okay. Yes, we did. Okay. Thank you. So, buongiorno a tutti, uh, mi chiamo Joanna Fitt, e sono francese, but I will speak in English today. So, um, I work at the French Agency uh, for Food, Environment and Occupational Health, Security and Safety in the risk uh, department. I work on, I'm referring for um, vectors and vector control. We are only two working on this topic. But I'm uh, at a very central position because uh, I coordinate many uh, working groups on risk assessment linked to vectors, to vector bone disease, and um, I work on efficacy of treatments. I do a lot of uh, state of the arts on based on literacy, and I work with uh, operators, um, with researchers, and with ministries, especially the Ministry of Health. Um, So before I start, I would like to say that uh, I'm very happy to be here. And in France, we love Italy and Italian peoples. We love the food, the culture, the architecture and everything. But we have two problems coming from Italy. The first one, um, remember, was in 2006. And it was uh, because of the Football World Cup. I don't know. <laughs> I don't watch football, but I remember the supporters' faces the day after. And this is the first problem, but the most, more, most important one is linked uh, with the topic of the day, is the tiger mosquito, because you may know that uh, the tiger mosquito arrived in France from Italia in 2004. But uh, don't worry, nobody knows that in France, so <laughs> we still like you. <laughs> <laughs> So um, it, it arrived in France uh, at the same year as in Spain and uh, about 10 years after in Italy. And as you know, this is an invasive species coming from Asia. Um, the mosquito arrived uh, in uh, the south of France uh, and I have a small animation. I hope it will work. And since its arrival, I just have the pictures is spreading in France. Um, and is continuing to colonize France and its progression year after year follows uh, the main roads. And uh, the mosquito arrived in Paris in 2015 and that the year where we started to think that, it, that dengue and Zika and uh, chikungunya were not uh, any more tropical disease. And only one year later we had, the, we had our first national plan against the uh, mosquito tiger. So maybe it was a, a good news for the rest of uh, the territories that the mosquito, tiger mosquito arrived in Paris. Um, the insect is now present um, in 70 departments on 99 uh, in mainland France. Um, and uh, as, repor uh, as reported by the French General Directorate of, Directorate of Health, And uh, for sure, we will have a uh, tiger mosquito all over our territory in a very few years. So I'm here today to talk about uh, the French Organization for Vector Control. And I will uh, tell you uh, um, how is organized our mosquito tiger surveillance. And I will talk about the vector control information system. 
Then uh, I will talk about the vector control actors and their responsibilities in France, and I will finish with uh, the vector control management around, around the arborious cases. So we started to, as you know, um, Ides albopictus is competent for many diseases like Zika, Dengue, and Chikungunya. This is uh, an invasive mosquito threatening public health with uh, increasing risk to trigger outbreaks. And vector surveillance is an essential component of vector-borne disease uh, prevention. That's why from 1998, vector surveillance was set up in France uh, with lying traps. Um, and today, lying traps are mainly on um, sites uh, at risk of importation, like ports and airports, and uh, on sensitive uh, places like hospitals. We have between five and 600 lying traps on all over the territories. Um, however, this kind of surveillance uh, methods are very expensive and uh, to, to implement and may have some limits toward uh, an invasive mosquito, which can spread rapidly. That's why in uh, 2014, the Ministry of Health asked uh, to um, create a citizen uh, science uh, website, which is called uh, Signalement Moustique. It is the same kind of website as Mosquito Alert that you may know. The objective of this uh, website is to inform about the tiger mosquito, uh, to, report, um, the to report its presence, and to follow the colonized uh, municipalities. Um, through this uh, website, citizens are asked to support the special temporal mapping of Aedes album pictures by submitting uh, mosquito pictures or specimens um, that they collect in their private surroundings. And after um, answering to three questions about size, color, and black and white uh, striped body and legs, the um, observation are sent to the health authorities via uh, the system of information uh, called SCLAV. Uh, this information are stored and confirmed by entomologist experts working for vector control and surveillance organisms. And citizen reports help to, he, citizen reports help to follow um, the front line of colonization, the expansion of the colonized area, and the seasonal dynamics for the tiger mosquito. And uh, managers from public authorities and vector control operators use the data as a source of information for implementing monitoring and vector control measures. Uh, now in 2022, after uh, eight years of uh, functionment, the website register registered over 60,000 uh, observations. Um, uh, citizen reports help to follow the front line of colonization, as I said, and to know precisely which municipalities are newly colonized, uh, which is uh, important to implement vector control measures then. Nowadays, we have uh, 4,363 municipalities colonized, which is few regarding that we have more than 35,000 uh, municipalities, but uh, we have uh, mainly uh, results for the biggest, biggest municipalities, and that represent 40% uh, of the population exposed in mainline France, which are at risk of uh, vector control transmission. Now, I would like to say uh, some words about our system information about vector control. Um, we have, uh, so the Ministry of Health has a uh, SCLAV, uh, which objectives are to follow the implementation of op operational activities in vector control coming from the operators, to facilitate rapid decision making by vector control services and health authorities in order to reduce the incidence of vector borne disease, to facilitate the exchange of information between the various vector control partners, to harmonize practices between uh, operators, and to fo follow social communication activities. Uh, this uh, information system um, um, 
will uh, implement all information from from mosquito control operators, from um, epidemiological surveillance, and from the Signalement um, Moustique uh, website uh, that uh, I presented before, and uh, which is uh, um, which um, uh, is uh, the website of uh, my organization. So I didn't say that uh, we. Um, we uh, have the, in charge the Cinema Mustique uh, website. So in the, in the information system of the Ministry of Health, they um, can um, compile all the information about uh, mosquito tiger reports and follow up to reports from individuals. They uh, have uh, the results of the entomological surveillance data, like laying traps loca location, re results of the trap survey, results of prairie domicile entomological survey, or results of monitoring at entry points. All this uh, information are geolocalized and available on uh, maps. Um, they have uh, all the information about epidemiological surveillance, uh, like early symptoms date, confirmation date of each cases, and uh, each uh, places of contamination, passage, passage and stay uh, places. And uh, they have information about vector control interventions about around contamination, passage, and stay places of human arbovirus cases. They collect information about insecticides, quantities and products used, and uh, about social mobilization actions. Everything which is done by operators is registered in this database. Um, then, who are the main uh, actors of vector control in France? Um, since 2020, as um, uh, it is the regional health agencies who are in charge of uh, the vector control around cases. We have 13 um, health regional agencies in mainland France, uh, which, are, which are in charge of uh, surveillance, vector control actions, social mobilization, implementation of operation activities on vector control in the information uh, system. And, uh, all these um, health um, agencies may award public uh, contracts to entrust uh, all or part of vector control to public or private mosquito control operators. So that's new since 2020, we have uh, public and uh, private operators. We have 20 operators for entomologic surveillance, which are represented on the map, and five different operators in overseas territories. And we have 15 operators for treatment, uh, which are not always the same as for surveillance, but sometimes they are. And uh, still five uh, for overseas uh, territories. So nowadays we have 31 different operators that consult and fill in the information system for treatment and surveillance. Um, the municipalities have uh, um, a key, word, uh, key place in the strategy too. Um, the health regional agency are in charge of vector control around the cases, but municipalities are responsible of uh, the prevention and information to the population. So they are in charge of uh, the information about the preventive measure. They are in charge to set up in urbanized areas uh, a program to identify, treat, and control public sites, likely to facilitate the development of insect vectors. They, um, they are in charge to integrate a component relating to vector control within the communal safeguarding plan in case of vector borne disease epidemics, and to prescribe to citizens the necessary actions to combat the unsanitary conditions of insect vector development in urbanized areas. And they have to nominate a technical reform to coordinate and participate in vector control actions. I have to confess that um, municipalities have a lot of things to do, but uh, not uh, a lot of human and material resources. And uh, most of the time they don't do these actions and they don't have a technical reform. We have almost 10% uh, of municipalities that have nominated the technical reform. And this is a big problem because municipalities are in charge of all the prevention program. So vector control actors at national level are the Ministry of Health, 
which um, uh, produces a regulation. Then Santé Publique France, which, which is the um, Institute for Epidemiology, um, is in charge of epidemiological surveillance at the national level. And uh, this institute has a regional uh, um, uh, agency too. And the ANSES, where I work, is in charge of applications for marketing authorization of biocidal products. Uh, um, so we assess uh, biocidal products and uh, we do expert, expert appraisal work uh, on vectors and vector control. Uh, so we coordinate many different uh, working groups and uh, we are in charge to produce recommendations for the decision maker to help to organize a strategy. Now I, I will tell some words about our surveillance. So notification of uh, dengue is uh, mandatory. The surveillance is enhanced from May to November during the IDS Albopictus activity period uh, for timely implementation of vector control measures to prevent local virus transmission. Each year, regional health authorities launched the enhanced surveillance period with awareness campaigns targeting health professionals on diagnosis and reporting of dengue, but also chikungunya and Zika cases. Um, in addition, the Public Health Institute uh, review daily arbovirus diagnosis tests conducted in a nationwide network of lab laboratories to identify non-identified cases. And the epidemiological investigations are carried out for each case, whether imported, imported or autochthonous. And uh, an autochthonous case is defined as a case with no history of travel during the two weeks before the symptom uh, starts. Um, the, in case of conf confirmed case, the regional uh, health agency set up an active case search around the home of the indigen indigenous case around the, in a perimeter of 150 meters. So they do a survey, they will, will do a door-to-door -door investigation and uh, an information campaign for health professionals and the population of the area surveyed. They can do a survey of health professionals in the area survey too, and a retrospective case research. For each case, they will ask, uh, they, they will uh, call the case and ask where he went during the uh, seven days before his symptoms and seven days after. And sometimes uh, there can be uh, 20 or more places. And in each places, the operators will have to go and check the prisons the presence of a mosquito um, because we we have a very heterogeneous presence of mosquitoes so far so it's still important to check and when there is a um, mosquito they will uh, do um, they will treat the breeding sites and um, you know, give information to the population and if there is mosquito then they will come back to treat uh, in a perimeter of 150 meters and if there is no mosquito, there is no treatment. And uh, it is important to distinguish the two situations in order to avoid uh, the resistance problems. And now I would like to stop on the um, epidemiologic data for dengue because uh, France faced an unusual situation of dengue transmission this year with 65 autochthonous cases spread over nine transmission events which is very uh, a very high uh, level of um, uh, autochthonous cases. Um, it is more than uh, all the num number of cases we had uh, registered uh, um, since uh, 2010. The majority of cases were imported for, from Cuba, as you said uh, before, uh, it's the same as in Italy, and then from uh, Ivory Coast and Me Mexico. And the number of imported cases was similar to that observed in uh, 2021. There seems that there is no link between the number of imported cases and uh, the number of autochthonous cases. Um, 
Well, this year we had the nine events of autochthonous tank transmission, uh, resulting in uh, 65 uh, cases, as I said. And um, six of these events occurred in departments where we had never experienced autochthonous cases before. So it is a, a very new situation uh, for us this year. Uh, we assume that uh, this increase in cases is not a surveillance uh, artifact because surveillance was uh, completely maintained during the COVID outbreak. And the drivers of arboreous transmission are uh, probably multiple um, and mainly influenced by the interaction between vectors population, virus strains and the global environment and the climate changes probably. And for sure, density were higher this year than uh, before. We had uh, very high densities of mosquitoes. And now it's almost the end of my presentation. About the treatments, the investigation around the cases includes an entomological prospecting investigation, as I said, to identify the presence on um, or not of the vector at the places of supposed contamination, stay or passage of the patient during this period of uremia, with the exception of those where the presence of the vector is already proven. If we are sure, uh, the operators won't go to check, but most of the time they do uh, an investigation. Then mosquito control operators look for traces of the presence of tiger mosquitoes that could have bitten the patient and become infected in turn. If there is mosquito tiger within a radius of 150 meter around the person's place, vector control treatment will be carried out in this area in order to kill the mosquitoes present, which could then be uh, um, uh, the, in the infection place uh, phase before they will be able to contaminate other people. And of course, the objective of this treatment is to control the risk of an epidemic by interrupting the circulation, circulation chain. Um, in conclusion, I would say that uh, France is the only European country to have declared autochthonous dengue cases this year. So the French surveillance system appears to be sufficiently sensitive to detect uh, autochthonous transmission of arboviruses and efficient to limit their spread. Um, however, uh, the multiplication and the geographical extent of transmission events are challenging. Uh, the, sustain the sustainability of this system, uh, we are not sure to be able to cope with the increasing number of cases. Indeed, the multiplication uh, of transmission events calls for continuous adaptation of preparedness and response to arboreous related risks and um, ensure the sustainability of this uh, surveillance requires promotion of main stakeholder involvement, so increased social mobilization, um, consolidate the network of reporting laboratories, raise awareness among patients to seek medical consultation for influence like illness without resp respiratory systems, especially in the context of negative COVID tests. And uh, we need to orientate, um, to drive health uh, professional to the diagnosis and reporting of arboviral disease. And of course, uh, we need to be more connected uh, all each other, even uh, across the border. Um, and you have some references here. And thank you very much for your attention. Grazie, dottoressa Fitte. Ci sono domande? Prego. Dottoressa, il costo delle trappole per monitorare le uova della zanzara tigre è alto. Ho capito bene? Un pochino. Il costo della de, de, uh, de, 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 de,
que le trap, le ovi trap, per la mosquito, tiger mosquito, coûte très cher. Et ça, c'est un problème pour continuer avec le, le monitorage des œufs des zanzara tigres. C'est vrai, vous avez dit ça. Ok, c'est vrai. J'avais compris ça. Que le ovi trap coûte très cher pour, pour faire une campagne contre pour le monitorage des œufs des zanzara tigres, des tiger mosquito. C'est vrai J'avais compris ça. The trap is... Euh, autre, yes. autre, uh, the, the human resources to... No, en to italien, to... On, pour la traduction. Pour la traduction. Okay. En italien, en, en anglais, s'il te plaît. Yes, si the voulez, human si resources... Répondre, oui. The human resources are expensive to install the trap and to collect the trap. Okay. <laughs> c'est pas le prix, c'est pas le prix. Parce que nous, en Italie, et je voulais demander ça à Romeo, à Donati, à, à si, à, parle en italien, non? En italien, on le devait dire, on devait ça. Non, non, à, pour, parce que nous, adesso inglese, français. No. Adesso, italiano, no, adesso no. cerchiamo di capire sì. se la dottoressa ha capito ecco, la, domanda. la domanda e siamo a posto. Dottoressa, ma ha capito? Io ho capito. Allora, io avevo capito dalla dottoressa che il costo delle trappole per il monitoraggio, per non dire ovi trap, ostacola in qualche modo il monitoraggio delle trappole della zanzara eh, tigre se vuoi. Ma sta dicendo che intendeva dire che il costo complessivo dell'operazione è... Ah, non è, delle trappole. Del, Dell'oggetto. Ah, trappola. ok. It's not the, ok, the trap, ok, but, very good, uh, very good. Human, uh, Merci, ok, ok. Uh, ok. okay. 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 Yeah. Not the trap, but... Ok. Uh, uh, ok, grazie. Sì, al processo. Sì. Uh, thank you very much for the for the presentation. I, I would like to. I, I have two questions, two, two points in your in your presentation. which is not clear to me. So, in terms of vector control, the municipality uh, do not play any role directly. Or, or, or the regional agencies are responsible for vector control. I don't know if in English you make um, or in Italian. Um, distinction between vector control and demonstration, but um, uh, health uh, regional agencies are involved in the vector control around the cases when there is a sanitary risk for human health, and municipalities are only involved for prevention and um, uh, to treat the uh, annoyance. Okay. That's all. Okay, so... Uh, I think it's a bit different, but this is the related. In the area where you have the intent in the interdepartmental de domestication, like uh, the Mediterranean or Rhone Alp or uh, in the uh, Alsace, etc. In, in that case, the, the, the AID, you, you consider this? EID will work for municipalities to do uh, demonstration to avoid annoyance, but they can be the operator for the health regional agency to treat around the cases. Ah, okay. They so there is a be connection both. between the regional agency and the ID. Yes, but they are in con con concurrence with the private operators. So sometimes they have a they work for the regional health agency, some, sometimes not, and they only do uh, the domestication for, to avoid annoyance. And the information you are collecting in the system are being mainly, let's say, included by including public operators or included private yes, operators? both of them. Yes. Only public? Public and private. And private, yes. okay. Last question is, you say that there have, you have 16, 69, uh, autochthonous case of dengue. So yes, this, 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 is, yeah. this is this is just one one outbreak, or you have several? No, there was nine um, events of uh, different events, and one with thirty-four cases. It's the biggest one we had ever had. Okay, I did, sorry. Thank you very much. You're welcome.
Grazie. Ci sono altre domande per la dottoressa? Grazie dottoressa, se non ci sono...